well generally i was interested in spirituality and somehow people who are in saffron clothes uh, they would attract my attention so my my of course my parents would say yeah okay they are they are good babas but you have to focus on studies but somehow i had this uh, natural inclination uh, towards the saintly people even if they are bogus still they would attract me because the saffron clothes would attract me the anyone who is in saintly wardrobe would attract my attention uh, so generally generally there was inclination secondly i got attracted towards shrimad bhagavad gita during my school days uh, in ncert there was one chapter gita shlokam like there is niti shlok chanakya niti and all of that so there was one chapter once of bhagavad gita so there was the verse chanchalam hi mana krishna pramathi balavad dhanam that mind is very chanchal very obstinate very stubborn so very strong i could see that well that's my mind how can ncert book expose my mind and that to in such a wonderful way so and then of course asanchay mahabaho mana dhuni griham chalam there is no doubt that yes mind is very restless but by diligent practice and by detachment one can control the mind wow so then there was attraction for bhagavad gita because i could see that bhagavad gita is so exposing my god there none of the book was exposing me because it was talking about the world outside but here is a book here is a, uh, which which contains sentences which can expose me the world within me so when i approached my sanskrit teacher she said there are 700 verses in the gita in your syllabus there are only 7 so some of the primary verses were there so then from there on i got this attraction for shrimad bhagavad gita that i should read bhagavad gita earlier my plan was to become a very rich man make a lot of money and feed the poor people but i realized that uh, the people are suffering less because of body but more because of mind but how to serve the minds of the people in case if i want to serve humanity oh okay so then i could see that by reading bhagavad gita because i could read bhagavad gita here and there so uh, so bhagavad gita gave me that taste and i could see that this this has really made my mind healthier in terms of dealing with people with negativity so this thirst was there now so that's the second reason and third was sense of gratitude i could see god gave me everything the best they gave god gave me wonderful parents wonderful sisters great a lot of wonderful friends around me uh, good health uh, in a uh, good mind and uh, in terms of sports i was a champion uh, in terms of extra extra curricular activities as singing dancing uh, making painting sketches i was one of the best if not the best i could see god has given me so much so much but i'm so ungrateful i have not given anything in return to god so this thing would always pinch me whenever a, an achievement would come in my life say for example okay now best painting award goes to now me said so just see man god has given you even this as well but you are so selfish that you are not given anything to god in return so this thing was building up so after passing my 12th i decided to help with the studies to help with my career first i'll find out god and say thank you to god so after 12th class i just ran away from home i wrote a letter uh, to my parents i am leaving in search of god and once i am done with my search and then i'll come back So in, in this way, I met some of the teachers here and there, but none of them they could quench my 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 thirst, my my questions. But when I came to Iskon, uh, when I after moving around to all the, all of these places, when I came to Iskon, Iskon East of Kailash, there I met the devotees and they had all scientific detail answers, bona fide answers to all my questions. So I stayed there as a monk for three months. and uh, i was done yet yes i found god i and i could see that here is the bhagavad gita yes which which is which captivated my heart the most yes and uh, best way to serve is to the, the humanity is to serve the is to give the teachings of the gita and then third thing was that to give myself employ all the talents which god has given to me back in service to god and humanity that is my reciprocation uh, towards all those blessings which god has given to me so in this way i stayed there for 3 months and after 3 months of course your senior devotee said see you are a big cutie pie so currently you should go back and you should continue your studies so under the guidance of the senior devotees i i again came back resumed my studies completed my graduation in computer science worked for a few years uh, for uh, as a matter of gratitude towards my parents as well i came back but yes i got the trailer of brahmachari life of a monk and that was those were those 3 months were always memorable for me when i was working outside studying outside so i decided that one day i would come back to that same life so it's it's been journey of uh, 13 plus 8 21 years in amazing, amazing amazing and i am with 
फाइनली मैं दू अचित गोपाल प्रभु 